Good afternoon and welcome to Uniquely Urbandale. I'm J. Michael McCoy for the Urbandale Chamber of Commerce, and this program highlights members, businesses, and associates of one of the best Chamber of Commerce in our community. In fact, some say in the entire country. Today, we've got three businesses that we want to highlight today that are members of the Urbandale Chamber of Commerce. Mary Harkin is here, the membership director. We'll talk to her in just a minute. But first, I want to introduce you to Joni Stark. And Joni is the owner yes. of TheMemoryBuilders.com. So if you want to look it up online, go to TheMemoryBuilders.com. So what is a memory builder? The Memory Builders is a scrapbooking company that I started on my own a few years ago. Um, I had been in the corporate world for about 33 years, and then I decided that it was actually time for me to do something I thoroughly enjoyed doing. And you're a so scrapbooker. I am a scrapbooker. So I started that company, The Memory Builders. Now, um, where? let me get a, where's your business located? Is it a bricks and mortar? Um, no, I'm, I actually work out of my home okay. in Urbandale. So the best way is just to go to the memorybuilders.com and get directions and yes, things like or that. Yes, email me, Facebook me. Okay. So you're talking to the right guy here. Yeah. Because I am what, I call, I am what you call a scrapbooker's widow. <laughs> I understand. Because once a month, my wife gets together, <laughs> has for years, and builds these incredible scrapbooks. And then, of course, a couple times a year, she disappears for two days and locks herself at like the state fair or right. a church or something and does this. So I have a tremendous amount of respect for what you do, because if you've never seen the type of scrapbooks that people from the memory builders can build, pardon my language, but you ain't seen nothing yet, because these are not just pictures glued with little corners where you put the picture in. These are actually books about the memories of your life. Right. That's exactly right. So what do you enjoy the most about your business? I think I probably enjoy most like meeting new clients and hearing their stories um, because you're right. It isn't just a photo album. Um, it's an album that is actually going to tell a story. You bet. So I like to visit with them and we look at pictures together and they tell me what's important in a picture because if you looked at their picture, you might not see the things that they see right. and have the same memory, obviously, that they would have. So I like to get the stories behind the photo so that I can actually tell that story throughout the album. It was interesting. When my wife started this 11, 12 years ago, was that about the time that all this started, yeah, maybe? Maybe 15 or so. Okay, yep. maybe. Mm -hmm. um, she would come home and I'd say, well, did you have fun? What'd you do? She said, well, I got done with, and the year would be like 10 years ago. Yeah, exactly. I finally got through 2000 or I got through 2001. But that's the cool thing about it. People collect all these. And again, you said it. It's not a picture album. It's also a things album. Right. Memories. Uh, I know that when we go to a wedding, my wife picks up all the little things that she can that reminds her of that day. And that goes in uh, several pages in a scrapbook to remind right. her of that day. Yes. So not just the event, but the memory. Mm -hmm. A lot of memorabilia goes along with it. Yes. So yes. a lot of um, mothers and grandmas that I meet with, they have the Cub Scout scarf that they want put in the a actual album yep. as well. Or, um, And the way you guys build those, that's totally possible. You don't have to have a, a one inch deep, uh, what do they call those, picture frames. So this like can all go box, in the book. Yeah. Shadow box. Yeah, yep. this can all go in the book. Yes, absolutely. So do you have scrapbooking parties or get togethers for all your customers? No, actually, I don't do that at all. I do. I participate in a lot of women's shows and craft shows so that people can see my work because that's what I figured out early on is as soon as people see my work, they really want it. Yeah, sure. So if you can see pictures, it doesn't really, my pictures don't really do it justice. So once they see it, then they want it. And I have a lot of repeat clients. So once they buy from me, they continue to buy from me. Okay. Now what do they buy? Help my listeners understand okay. what do they buy from you? It's quite a variety actually. Um, mainly my passion are the albums and I can either do like pre-made albums where they come completely assembled and all you have to do is just attach your photos. Um, so those are as easy as possible for the people that don't want to spend a lot of time on them. Or I do the custom work and that's where I meet with people and, you know, get their ideas and the stories and I create a custom album for them. So you would build an album for them? Yes, absolutely. They're going to bring me their pictures and I'm going to get the stories behind the photos and I'm going to build that album for them. 
So I don't do crops or do classes or anything like okay. that. I'm All actually right. doing the work for them. So this is for the woman, I'm sorry, the family yes. that wants uh, a memory book, a scrapbook, but doesn't have the time nor the exactly. skill or the talent exactly. to do that. Oh, or I, I do get a lot of scrapbookers who used to scrapbook, but they're, like you said, they're behind um, or they just don't have the time anymore. They may have started out when they had one child and now they have four and they don't have the time for it anymore. So um, I do actually have a lot of scrapbookers as clients as well. Now, you mentioned earlier Facebook. You have a Facebook page? Yes, I have a Facebook page. I'm on Pinterest and I have a website as well. All right. So your website is thememorybuilders.com. Yes. All right. Facebook would be the... Face- me- yes, facebook.com backslash thememorybuilders. Okay. And Pinterest or whatever Pin, that yeah Pinterest is Pinterest memory builders without the the I without guess that the. was taken already, that was already so. taken yeah. okay all right and you enjoy being a member of the chamber absolutely I am not I'm a very new member um, Mary has been wonderful helping me get acclimated yep, she's that um, she's that's what she does yes. she's the best at what she does and the the members are awesome as well because I've had lots of emails even a couple of phone calls from people. Um, offering their help, offering to meet for coffee and just make sure that I know my way around the chamber. So Good. So, so far, great. was it worth leaving the corporate world? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think about that for one second. Good. That was the best decision I've ever made. Good okay. for you. All right, let's go over to Mary. And uh, Mary is your membership director at the Urbandale Chamber of Commerce, uniquely Urbandale. And if you would like to know more about the chamber, you can call Mary and she will shuffle herself over to your business or your house or you could meet every Tuesday morning, 9 o'clock at the chamber office. Now, if I remember correctly, next week, you're making gingerbread cookies. Yes, we're making memories. How do you like that, Joni? Yeah, I like it. <laughs> we're going to be making some memories and talking about chamber membership benefits. And we go through everything from your online benefits to the meeting events, kind of what to expect when you get there. And really helping members, and if you're even interested in joining the Chamber, you haven't actually become a member, you can actually learn more about the Chamber by coming to our meetings on Tuesday mornings, 9 to 10 a.m. We brew wonderful Friedrich's coffee, and we talk about benefits. And I always like to say that I have been a member on and off of the Urbandale Chamber of Commerce for many years. I'm not compensated for this show. I believe it's important to bring entrepreneurs, local businessmen and local businesswomen to come in and be able to talk about their businesses. So we in the community, as a chamber of commerce, as a united body in business for our community, we can get together. So I'm very pleased uh, that you were able to be here today, Joni, and thank you for coming in. Thank you so much. All right. We'll be back a little later with another highlight on a business and a business person. For the Urbandale Chamber of Commerce, I'm J. Michael McCoy, and this is Uniquely Urbandale.